And I've been saying, uh, particularly around the Kamani Gray shooting, that although they tried very much to make it about the details of one shooting, uh, make what happened on Church Avenue about the details of one shooting, I've repeatedly said that it's not about the details of one shooting. It's about a pattern and practice of policing in communities of more color. There are families behind me. Many of them, it was clear that they were unarmed. Just nine months before Kamani Gray, Chantel Davis was shot and killed, clearly unarmed. It is about a pattern of practice of policing in communities of more color. The most palpable problem is stop, question, and frisk. The problem I have with a lot of these shootings and a lot of uh, these policies is that if it were happening in communities of a lighter hue, it would not be tolerated regardless of what was happening in those communities. Black and Latino communities are not the first communities, are not the only communities to have violence. They're not the only communities to have crimes of other sorts. These tactics would not be allowed in communities of lighter hue, period. People would not be allowed to be shot and killed by people who should be protecting them and no accountability being had if the color of the victims were different, given the same set of circumstances, given the same records they like to put out there, if they were shot and killed unarmed, something would be done. The most frustrating part is there is a different type of policing that is allowed in different communities. Stop question yes. and frisk is a failed policy that does not even produce good results. So even if you can get past the unconstitutionality of it, the only results that it provides is division in these communities. There was a mayoral candidate, Joe Loda, who had one of the most condescending statements I heard, saying that the communities don't understand what's happening. We understand fully. We can differentiate a failed policy of stop, question, and frisk and a police officer stopping someone for reasonable suspicion. The vast majority of people who are stopped under this failed policy are being stopped because of the color of their skin, not because any crime has been committed or about to commit it. That is what is happening here. We have a mayor and a commissioner that are part of the most arrogant administration I've seen in their whole administration. They do not receive criticism well. You cannot say that something is wrong or else they will push even harder on that wrong something. And that is what's happening here And Stop, Question, and Frisk. Their own numbers show that the policy does not work. There is no correlation between guns removed, which is actually dropped, between shootings and murders and Stop, Question, and Frisk. There is absolutely no causation between Stop, Question, and Frisk and guns removed and shootings and murders. And still, they have forced resources to take them to federal court, which we will win, by the way, uh, but they have forced resources to take them to federal court to solve something that they could have solved many years ago. And I'm proud to sponsor a package of legislation that is only meant to bring accountability and trust back to the NYPD. As a council member, I must view the NYPD as community partners. But I tell you, it is a hard sell when we have a commissioner like this one and a mayor like this one. And when I have an NYPD who wrongly arrest me and then lie to me about me. That is a hard sell to then bring back to my community. So I'm asking again that the mayor and the commissioner at least acknowledge that there is a problem. Please take your head out of the sand. The ostrich policy does not work. We have a humongous problem here. We don't want to be in court. We don't want to be here every day. We want to provide safe streets and better policing. That is two conversations that I am intelligent enough to have That's and everyone right. here is intelligent enough to have and the communities we represent and are advocating for deserve to have. Please That's provide right. leadership and let's stop with the rhetoric. Thank you That's very right. much. Yeah. Woo!